Hi folks, Lindsay here. I'm a senior campaigner here at Greenpeace Australia for Sydney, jumping in to give a quick campaign update. With Greenpeace supporters like you, having now shifted nearly 25 huge corporations onto 100% renewable electricity, as well as making major inroads in getting AGL, the country's biggest polluter, to bring forward the closure of its coal power stations, we've been asking, what next? And what's next, of course, once you're getting on track to get off coal, is to get off oil and gas. How do we do that? By electrifying everything with renewable power. In the next few weeks, we'll be launching Electrify, a major new program of work to push huge companies to get off oil and gas and to help households do the same. Our first stop will be transport. So why Electrify Transport? Here's five important things to know. One, transport emissions in Australia are skyrocketing. The millions of cars, vans and trucks on our roads now make up the third largest and fastest growing source of domestic carbon pollution. Two, at the moment it's incredibly difficult to purchase electric vehicles here in Australia with huge waiting lists, available cars selling out within minutes and some second-hand cars even selling for more than the original purchase price. Three, Currently, here, only 2% of new vehicle sales are electric, while in the UK it's 20%, and in Norway, a whopping 85%. Four, the reason we don't have many EVs in Australia is because other countries have strong standards that require car manufacturers to sell less polluting cars. Because we don't have these standards, we've become a dumping ground for dirty polluting cars that other countries just won't accept. And five, Half of all new cars purchased each year are for corporate and government fleets, and they usually on-sell these cars within three to four years. So, to get going with electrifying transport, we're starting with two key campaign strategies. The first, pushing the government to introduce strong vehicle emission standards to bring us in line with the rest of the world. And the second, pushing our biggest corporations to commit to electrify their fleets and turbocharge the EV second-hand car market. These steps will make cleaner electric transport more affordable and accessible for all Australians. We're looking forward to letting you know more about how you can be involved very soon.